was how do you get from point A to point B on the psychometric chart, 72 degrees dry bulb, 65 degrees dew point, down to 60 degrees dry bulb, and 35 degrees dew point. Let me show you on the psychometric chart. Point A to point B on the chart. Point A, 72 degrees Fahrenheit, dry bulb, and 65 degrees dew point is right here. Our end point, what we're trying to get to is 60 degrees dry bulb and 35 degrees, scooch this over a little bit, 35 degrees dew point, which is right here. So to me, this is three processes. Cooling coils are very good at getting you down into this region here. So let's say, and I haven't run any selection, so some of these values are gonna be a little bit off, but you get the idea. So let's say we run this through a cooling coil, chill water cooling coil DX, starts going to the saturation line and it comes down to let's say 55 degrees, okay? So we're 55 degrees here. So how do we get from here to here? Well, one of my favorite products to get to dew points lower than 45 is to use an active desiccant product. So what active desiccants do is they remove humidity, but in doing so, they add heat. So the process would look something like this. I haven't run a selection, so I'm not sure exactly where it would end up, but you would be lowering the humidity and adding heat to the system. Move this over a little bit. So somewhere in the 90-ish range, you're gonna be leaving the desiccant wheel, okay? Now we still have to get from here to here. How do we do that? Well, we use a cooling coil. And cooling coils are really good at this temperature to remove sensible heat. You're not doing any dehumidification, you're just removing sensible heat here. Let's start up here. So you could have a chill water system here, getting you down into the 50s. An desiccant will get you to the dew point you need. You could take this dew point down to the minus 80s if you need to, minus 40s. And then you post cool by using a sensible cooling coil right here. So that's how you get from point A to point B using three different types of systems.